Hey guys, my heart hurts. My wife and I just came from a uh, nice Christmas get together for uh, some friends of hers from work. And uh, it's just amazing at how blind to the world of PhD things can be. It, it hurts that we went to a, a group of wonderful people and we had a great time socializing, just chit chat getting to know them a little bit better. But these were all people from the medical profession. Uh, and in a lot of cases, their spouses and significant others too. And it just blew my mind. And Julie and I would look at each other and shake our heads and just, it was amazing. Everyone there was obese. Everyone there was obese. All of their kids were pushing it. Their kids, most of them were unruly, ADHD. Uh, everyone was eating cookies and snack cakes and, 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 and pie. And they had some good, they had some good pork. It was delicious. They had some good uh, turkey. It was good. I skipped the ham because it was coated with sugar. I'm sure it was tasty, but I wasn't going to risk it. The deviled eggs were good, um, and the keto stuffing that we brought was amazing, and everybody loved it better than the regular stuffing. Uh, but everything else was mac and cheese. It was flour and gravy. It was it, everything was carb, 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 sugar everywhere. Uh, an entire dessert, you know, half of a, of, a, of a dining room table with an extra leaf in it was all desserts. And that's what everyone gravitated to. And what really hurt more than anything was a, a guy I was sitting across from my wife had worked with in the past. He's, you know, these, like I said, these are all healthcare people. There's uh, PAs, there's, there's RNs, there's LPNs, there's CNAs, uh, everywhere in between. And this guy was an RN. He's a type 1 diabetic. He's got his little insulin pump, and he's, he's trying to calculate based on, on, on what the sweets he sees and what the carbs, you know, his mashed potatoes and everything else. Well, how many units does he, he was asking his wife, how many, I think 16 units will take care of that. I think, well, maybe another three units if I eat that. Come on, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to kill yourself, and you know better. You're already a type 1. It's not like it's, oh, I could be type 2, I could be you know, pre-diabetic. No, you already know, you're diagnosed as a type 1, and you have been for years. You know better, and you're playing Russian roulette with your life, with your diet. It, it blew us away, and you know, maybe... Maybe we're just woke to PhD, but it's like everyone else is asleep. They don't get it. And then there was another sad story. There was some other guests there, and I, I don't even know their background. But they said they had to leave because they had to go get on a, a family Zoom call because uh, one of their other relatives had, uh, had gone back into ICU. This kid's 15 years old, and, and he's had all kinds of problems, and he's basically deteriorating right in front of everybody and uh the, the the lady she's really nice and very her, her heart was sinking time all these horrible conditions that this young kid is in you know he's had leg bones you know that are just withering away and you know, i don't know what else we can do and you know the other piece of the story was the, the gentleman had, had piped in and said yeah and they said he's he's diabetic He's uh, got all these other endocrine problems, hormone problems are all out of whack. I'm thinking, oh my God, could this have been preventable years ago? And then that got me to think, this, this kid's 15. What about all these other little kids running around with cookies in both hands? And then they, when they sit down, they're eating mashed potatoes. They're eating mac and cheese. What, what if... That seven-year-old, in eight more years, is going to be like this other kid that's in the ICU now. Guys, we've got a job to do. 
I don't pretend to have all the answers, and I never will. But I've got some of them. I can at least steer somebody onto a path where they can get their own best answers. My heart is hurting right now. Not just for the people at this gathering that we went to, because it does. But how many more people out there? Loved ones and people we don't even know yet are on the verge of severe chronic disease or, or, or the end. They're killing themselves slowly with their lifestyle, with their diet. It hurts and it just tells me, it gives me more resolve to know that we've got work to do. We've got to wake people up. We've got to enlighten them that there's more to this story of your body, of good health, than what you think and then what you're being told. We've got a lot of work to do. We've made a lot of ground over the last few years, but we have more work to do. So I, I'm committing to digging in my heels even further to helping the cause, to help people understand what a proper human diet spectrum truly is and how they can get the relevant health markers where they need to be what is relevant, what's not relevant. I, I'm, a, I'm hurting, but I'm also inspired and excited for the future and about where we're going and about where this movement is going in creating a healthy society. So I, I just wanted to shoot a quick video. I don't care about lighting, anything. I just, it was on my heart. I wanted to get it out. I uh, hope it means something to you. It means something to me. It means something to Julie. And uh, we're hopeful, and we would love for as many of you to come along with us and help spread this information and this love so we can live, all live a very, very long time.